Hello and welcome to the second session of statistics. In the previous session we have seen what is statistics, where it is used and we have seen some basic principles such as the central tendencies, what is mean, median and mode. So we have the basic understanding of what is mean, what is median and what is mode. Now we will calculate the same central tendencies for a larger number of data. Okay. So now let us have a look at this example. This data represents the number of defective bulbs which we have and the number of boxes which have the same number of defective bulbs. For example, there are 0 to 2 defective bulbs in 3 boxes. Okay. There are around 2 to 4 defective bulbs in 4 boxes and so on. So now what we have to do is we, we have to find the average number of defective bulbs in each of the boxes. Okay. Now as you can see the number of defective bulbs ranges from 0 to 10. Okay. So the average should lie between 0 and 10. Now in this question we have been given a class interval. Okay. There's a not there isn't a specific value for the number of defective bulbs, it's a range. Right? So for this we need to calculate the class mark. Class mark actually means a central value of the class. Okay? So the number of defective bulbs from 0 to 2, the central value is 1. So the class mark of the first class is 1. Similarly, the class mark of the second class will be 3 and so on. So once you have calculated the class marks, now we can start calculating our mean. How do we do this? We multiply the class mark with the frequency. Class mark actually represents an average number of defective bulbs in that class. Okay? So one defective bulb in three boxes that is 1 into 3 will give you 3. Exactly the same way, three defective bulbs in four boxes, 3 into 4 will give you 12 defective bulbs. So this column f into x represents the total number of defective bulbs in all of the boxes and the total number of boxes is 60. So once we get the column of f into x and the total number of boxes, the simple thing to calculate the mean, we need to divide it. So the mean is calculated by the summation of f into x, the total number of defective bulbs divided by total number of boxes and that comes out to be 4.38. Okay? Now the average number of defective bulbs cannot be in decimals, right? the bulbs cannot be in decimals. So we can round it up and write it that we have on an average 4 defective bulbs in all of these boxes. So this is how we calculate the mean. Now let us have a quick example of how do we calculate the median. Now, now what exactly is median? Median is the centermost value of the observation, right? So here we have 60 students who have scored in this pattern, okay? There are 5 students who have scored from 0 to 10. There are 10 students who have scored from 10 to 20 and so on. So these are the marks out of 50. There are 18 students who have scored the marks between 40 and 50. Okay, so this data is called as group frequency data which we have seen which we have also used in the previous question. Now for calculating median we do not need to calculate the class mark. We need another column that is called as cumulative frequency. So in cumulative frequency or you can say less than cumulative frequency what we do is we keep on adding the frequencies. Now you can see the frequency, frequency means the number of students. Okay, The number of students in the first class is 5. We will add this 5 with the frequency of the previous table that is 10 that is 5 plus 10 will give you 15 and then we will add 15 to the next frequency that is 12 and so on and the final value in the cumulative frequency should be 60 that is the total number of students as well. Now median is the centermost value, number of students is 60. So the centermost value will lie at n by 2, the total number of students by 2, that is the 30th value. Okay? So the value of n by 2 is 30. Now what we have to do is we have to look at this cumulative frequency and find out where this value of cumulative frequency crosses 30. Now you can see in this table that the value of cumulative frequency crosses 30 in the fourth row. Okay? The cumulative frequency for the first row is 5, for the second row is 15, for the third row is 27 it hasn't crossed 30 yet okay and for the next row it's 42 here it has crossed the value of 30 and hence this class is taken as a median class okay so this class the class from 30 to 40 represents the median class so the value of your median should lie between 30 and 40 now to calculate a median we have this formula median is equal to L plus 
bracket n by 2 minus c f upon f into h. Now what are these terms? L, L means the lower limit of the class. We have selected median class from 30 to 40 that is the fourth class. The lower limit of that class is 30. So the value of L is 30. Then n by 2 which we have already calculated that is 30. Then c f, c f represents the cumulative frequency of the previous class. Okay. So median class is this one, the fourth one. The cumulative frequency of the previous class is 27. So the value of c f is 27. Value of f, f is the frequency of the median class which is of course 15 and finally h, h is the class width. What is the width of the class? So you can see the width of the class is 10 units, okay, 0 to 10, 10 to 20 and so on. So class width is 10. We have to substitute all these values in the formula and we will get the median as 32, okay. So this is how we calculate the median. Now let us have a look how do we calculate a mode. Now finding mode is even more easier, we just have to remember one formula, there is no other modification in the table. Okay? Now consider this data, suppose this data also represents the number of students who have scored the marks between 0 and 10, there are two students who have scored the marks between 0 and 10 and so on. Okay? Now the formula to calculate the mode, remember what is mode? Mode is the value which occurs maximum number of times. Okay? Now you can see the maximum number of students lie in the third class from 20 to 30. Right? So the value of mode will lie between 20 and 30. Now how do we calculate mode? We have a simple formula, mode is equal to L plus in bracket F1 minus F0 upon 2 F1 minus F0 minus F2. Now again what are different values? Now F1, F1 is the value of the modal class, okay, modal class. Remember the, the class which has the maximum frequency is selected to be a modal class. The class from 20 to 30 is the modal class. Okay? The frequency is termed as F1. The frequency of the previous class is taken as F0 and the frequency of the next class to the modal class is taken as F2. So we have the value of F0, F1 and F2. H is the class width which is of course 10. Just substitute the values and we will get the answer for the mode. The answer will come out to be 25. Okay, so this is how we calculate mode. So today we have seen how to calculate mean, median and mode for a larger number of data or you can say for a grouped frequency data. Thank you.